Hey guys, it's Annabelle. So this is another edition of my October mission videos. Okay, so if you've been following me this month, you know that this whole month I have been changing over um, the products that I use to clean my home with more natural, more chemical free, and more budget friendly alternatives. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about how I clean everything in my kitchen. Okay, so I don't need very many things. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, I'm just going to start with um, just like in my kitchen spatially how I clean things. Okay, so how I'm cleaning my fridge is like the bottom of my fridge, the shelves, um, anything like that. I am using baking soda um, and just a little scrub brush and so I use um, I have this and this is the container that my Lemmy Shine that I made my homemade um, dishwashing detergent. Um, I just reused the container and put in the baking soda because I'm buying my baking soda in bulk now and just putting it in a smaller container so that way it's not as heavy. I'm not lugging all this stuff around and if this spills there's less of a mess. So for my refrigerator, um, shelves and everything. I'm using baking soda and water or baking soda and vinegar. This jug um, is filled with vinegar. Um, and I'm just as a general spray for cleaning out um, the fridge if it doesn't necessarily need the baking soda. The baking soda really freshens. It works great on the um, I've got um, like glass shelves and the bottom of my fridge also gets like nasty stuff on it. Um, so if I don't need the baking soda and it's just a wipe down, I'm using vinegar and water. Um, and this is just my old multi-purpose cleaners spray bottle. So I didn't even have to buy um, containers for either of these things because I just reused um, the containers from um, the products that I had purchased. So anyways, so fridge, really, really super easy. If it needs a deep clean or it smells, I use baking soda and water or baking soda and vinegar if there's like a tough like stain on it. Um, and just a general wipe down is vinegar and water. Okay, so my um, countertops and things, I just use um, vinegar and water. And for my stove, for my stove top, I was finding that vinegar and water did not get grease. Um, I was having to scrub and scrub and scrub. So my solution to grease was to mix. I have another one of my multi-purpose cleaner bottles that I washed out. Um, all that is in here is a teaspoon of Dawn and water. So, and how I figured out a teaspoon was that I put it in here and I wanted it to bubble like that. Um, a half a teaspoon wasn't enough mixed with the water, but a whole teaspoon, uh, there's just a teaspoon of Dawn in here and then the rest is filled with water. So I just spray this on my stove top or my countertops if there's grease on it. This takes off grease and then I follow up with my vinegar and my water mixture that's in this bottle. Um, and my oven, I used to use Easy Off, and of course you need like a gas mask when cleaning that stuff. Um, but now what I do is for my oven, I just sprinkle baking soda on all of the spots, and then I pour just a little bit of water on top of the baking soda, and then I let it sit overnight, and then all you have to do in the morning is wipe it down. It works awesome. I did not believe that this was going to work. I, I just, I didn't believe it. I was just like, okay, well that seems way too simple. But that is how I clean my oven. You just sprinkle some baking soda on the spots, and then sprinkle some water over the top of that and let it sit overnight and wipe it off. Like that is like super simple. So that is how I clean my oven. Um, dishwashing detergent. Um, I did a video at the beginning of this month on this homemade dishwashing detergent. It works fabulous. Um, I also use vinegar um, as my rinse agent. I still have not used up all of my um, product that I was using for my rinse agent, um, but vinegar is my rinse agent, and how I clean my 
um, microwave is I first do a round of Dawn and water on it to get like the greasy spots off and then again I follow up with vinegar and water. Um, so that is how I clean my microwave. My sink is the same thing. If you watched my how I clean my bathroom video, I posted that last week. Um, but I clean my sink the same way that I clean my bathroom sink. All I do is sprinkle some baking soda down and pour some vinegar on it. Then it bubbles and fizzes. Give it a nice little scrub and it's clean. Um, if you want your garbage disposal to smell nice, just put some vinegar in your drains, let it sit, and then just use it as normal. Wash it down with water. Um, coffee pot, um, put vinegar, run vinegar through your coffee pot. Works fabulous. Um, and then again, just my counters and things are just um, vinegar and water. If there's grease, I use the Dawn and water. Um, and windows is just my vinegar and water. And to my floor, I was spending a lot of money on um, like just different like Swiffer products and stuff like that. Well, I've changed out my Swiffer cloths for just my brown washcloths. I bought these like a whole big bulk set of brown washcloths and so I just use vinegar and water for spots I just spray this on the spots and then I put this I put a washcloth in my grooves you just poke it in there works the same as the cloths um, and vinegar and water and spot clean and then when we actually like want to deep clean our floors we actually get our mop bucket out put about anywhere from a half to a whole cup depending on how many how much water we have in our mop bucket um, but again um, vinegar mixed with water we wash all of our floors with that um, so that is my kitchen all the way around um, you can use baking soda to freshen your trash cans um, if your trash cans start to smell just scrub them down with some baking soda and water um, works awesome I clean the outsides of my trash cans if like I accidentally spill something on the trash can while I'm trying to put something in it um, just vinegar and water on the trash cans but yeah that is my kitchen but yeah, so this takes care of everything. It takes care of the fridge, countertops, stove top, oven, microwave, dishwasher, um, sink, walls, windows, floor, everything. Whereas before I was using like a multi-purpose cleaner, um, I got special garbage disposal, like packet things that you put into your garbage disposal. Um, and it's just, just crazy how much money like this can save you just these simple things you just need paper towels and I don't have my brush here that I use with my baking soda on my stuff here for my sink but um, this is all you need to clean your kitchen from top to bottom works fabulous so anyways if there's any questions or comments um, leave them below this was super cheap to make for cleaning everything in my kitchen um, I had to buy a bottle of Dawn, but I already had that already. Um, so this Dawn and water is super cheap to make because there's only a teaspoon of Dawn in it. Um, vinegar and water, this is super cheap, the vinegar. Um, I buy the, I think it's two gallons, or maybe it's just a gallon container of vinegar. Um, but this is about... About fill it up to about there with vinegar and the rest is water and baking soda buy it in bulk it's cheaper that way and then just put it in smaller containers um, I did buy this container I think this was this was like a dollar I think for this jug but this jug and my husband was like why did you buy that but I wanted the handle on it which is awesome and I wanted the little spout top because this works way better than having it in an like in a open container like the perfect amount of vinegar comes out of this spout top so I love that works awesome and then my dishwashing detergent um, look for the video on that because I had to purchase this container for it but um, <coughs> excuse me and my spot mop um, I already had this um, I had the brown washcloths already for um, cleaning and everything but the washcloths just fit right in here with the grooves or whatever so I don't have to buy those anymore. Paper towels and a brush. 
See, that's all you need. So completely awesome. But yes, any comments, questions, anything like that, completely leave them below. And this is so very cheap and it gets things clean. And there's not, there's a vinegar smell when you first clean, but then um, afterwards everything smells fresh and clean. It doesn't smell like, I don't know, like old cooking or anything like that, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but yes, so that is it. That is everything. But yes, anyways, so I will talk to you all later, and you guys have a good day. Bye, guys.